Hi, it's Mr. Sass, coming at you from the magical confines of internet land. And uh, we're going to continue our study of the religions and culture of ancient Egypt. Today, as I promised, a girl god, and not just any female goddess. She is Isis. Isis is the goddess of life and magic. She healed the sick and protected women and children. The Egyptians thought of her very, very highly, and she may have, in one of their stories, become one of the most powerful gods in their entire pantheon. Pantheon. It's a great big word. See, look at it here. Pantheon. Pantheon means the whole group of gods, goddesses, in their religious beliefs. Pantheon. A whole bunch of gods and goddesses. So, I think you're going to like this one. Because at the very end of the video, I have a surprise for you. I'm going to be giving away my original drawing. But there's something you got to do for me first. And you won't know until you watch the end of the video. So, stay tuned on that. In the meantime, let's go down here and get to work on her. Okay. So, like the other drawings, we're going to start with the same three shapes. So, you need your pencil, you need, I use one of these, you can use crayons, whatever black outline you've got, and of course, the most important drawing tool ever, the eraser. So, uh, let's begin, and uh, you guys, our shoulders are a little shorter because Isis was drawn as a woman. Shoulders in there. And this. And I know it's kind of different, but we'll put that in later. Kind of a triangle shape for her foot. And let's do our best to get these feet on the same level. So it looks like she's not going to fall down, that she's kind of walking around. And she gets ankle bracelets. So let's get up here. Now here's what we do. You just go out a little bit and you come in and then you go out, come in, and then you go back out, and we'll erase these lines later, okay? And that's how you draw Isis' uh, more female, feminine shape. Okay, so, arms out here, a rectangle, another rectangle, and a triangle shape, because uh, just like Ra, she gets a little thumb there. She is holding an Ankh, the Egyptian symbol for everlasting life. So, we'll rough in that Ankh, clean that up in a little bit. We'll put in her jewelry. So we don't forget. Over here, we get one rectangle. And we get another rectangle. And her hand. And we're going to rough in that staff she's carrying. And we're just going to do of that for now. Oops, I get that a little. Yeah, I did. Let's draw that straighter. OK. 
can't have a goddess with a wonky shaft. Y'all with me here? You know, you can stop this. Alright, so now we're gonna do this. Because her hair, if you notice, is kind of looking like the Egyptian headdress, isn't it? So we'll put that in there. And we'll just mark in where the nose is going to go. We we'll come down here like that and give her a neck. Because she's going to need a neck for that Egyptian bling. Of course she does. So, right here, I'm going to take this hairline up just a little bit, give us more room. And we'll put it there. Right here, I'm going to give her her eye. Round out her nose a little bit. And give her some lips and a chin. And right here is her ear. Comes straight down for part of the headdress. Like that. And then uh, up here, we're gonna make this symbol and that symbol. And while we're here, let's make what is on her head. It is a, a symbol of the Egyptian throne. Okay? Alright, that's pretty rough. Oh, it's really rough. <laughs> let's keep going. I'll clean it up when I get to the marker. So here is her dress. the other part of her dress. And I'm gonna put a diamond right here because this goes to there and that goes to there and this goes all the way down to here. And that one goes all the way down to there. I step out of the way. All right, almost all roughed in. Very rough. It probably change the size of that eye when I get up there. Clean that up a little bit, you guys. That's a little better. All right, on the arms. Arms come out like this. They come out and they go in. Don't forget her thumb. And the jewelry. Okay, same thing over here. Arms go out and they go in. Put her thumb up here. And one, two, three, four. Fingers. And that's a little more detail on that staff. All right. Thank goodness. Because now. After I've got her roughed in, it is much easier to just make quick work of the outline. And 
this is a good time for you all to catch up. While I'm doing this, you guys can be working on making your pencils as solid as they can be. Ornamentation of her gown. Ornamentation. That just means how she's decorated. So I did some fancy things on Isis's uh, uh, Egyptian collar right here. Let's see what you can do. Oops, can't forget her feet. And staff. Egyptians were big on symbols. Symbols were very, very important to them. They meant certain things about what is going to go on in a person's afterlife. Okay? All right. Time for my best friend and yours, the eraser. Erase the, all of these lines. Now she looks like a girl because the triangly pencil lines are gone. I always forget a couple of lines here and there. But you get the idea. Just uh, take your time with Isis's details. They're a little more than your basic Egyptian tomb figure. About as many as Ra had. And I think you're going to do just fine on this. All right? There you go. Well, I know you guys are going to do your very best on the Egyptian goddess Isis. How do I know you're going to do your very best? It, well, it's easy because you've been sending me in some amazing drawings. Really, let's take a look at a few. Well, this is the Egyptian pantheon of gods and goddesses. It's not all of them, but in the middle is uh, the lady we just did, Isis, and then this guy, Anubis. Whoever can tell me what Anubis does in the beliefs of the ancient Egyptians sends that to me first with an excellent drawing of Isis will win. This is your puzzle. Who is this guy? What did he do? Okay, well good luck on that. Do a great job on the drawing, solve the puzzle, and may the best and fastest artist win. All right, I'm really happy that uh, we could do this today. Tune in next week for another one of my favorite Egyptian gods. But first, Email me your stuff. Email it here. Email me pictures of your work. You gotta color them, you gotta outline them. You gotta email them to me before you get credit. 
Okay? Do that. Signing off from Internet Land, it's Mr. Sass. Goodbye, y'all. See you next time.